Well, here's an unexpected part of Trek. Uh, we are in a small area that does uh, work with bananas. And so, um, Jonathan, Dr. <laughs> Jonathan Crane again, uh, what are you doing here with the bananas? Right. First, I'll apologize for the way the bananas look. <laughs> so, we're just coming out of our winter. Uh, and we haven't been managing these mats. And what I mean by that is under a management system, you would only have three pseudo stems or stems in any one location. One that's flowering and fruiting, one that's about halfway grown, and then one that's very small called a sucker, right? We haven't been using this this year. I didn't plan any trials this year, but if I was going to, what I do to try to synchronize so that all the plants here are flowering and fruiting at the same time, is I would come in and I would, I would go ahead and remove every stalk except for one in each location and allow one small sward or pup, some people call it pup, to grow. Um, and so that pup, all, all of these would have one small pup and they would all grow at the same time and I keep eliminating any new pups that came up, any new swords that came up, and keep eliminating those and concentrate all the energy in that one new plant. And by doing that, and you're doing it at the same, t you know, you started it off at the same time, they'll go ahead and hit the same cycle, they'll flower and fruit almost at the same time. And then this way you can synchronize the crop. And this is a strategy that's been used in, in other countries to, to hit a certain market window. So if I know that the big market is, uh, let's say it's in July, I would come back and let's say I knew that it took 200 days from uh, pruning these trees and leaving just one sward uh, until harvest, I would go back, let's say I wanna harvest you know, August 5th, go back 200 days, do the pruning, and then religiously remove all the other suckers coming up and just let that one sucker grow. At the end of 200 days, I'd have almost all the fruit ready to be harvested at the same time. So does it matter how old the mat is when, as far as how quickly the, the pup will grow? That's a, good, that's a good point. So these bigger mats underground is where the, living, is where the uh, growing point is. Mm -hmm. And the bigger the mat, the bigger that carbon source. So in some ways, having that bigger carbon source for that one little pup is, is a good thing it will provide a lot of energy for that pup to grow. Mm -hmm. The downside is that if the, the mat, they call it a banana mat, right? It's an underground growing structure, is too big, uh, then what can happen is you can get a lot of sprout, a lot of sucker control <laughs> that you've got to do. Yeah. So it's sort of a compromise. Mm -hmm. Ideally, like for this mat over here, I would probably not only remove all these suckers, I'd probably dig up and remove some of this underground stem or corm, people call it, remove it completely so I can decrease the amount of new suckers I'm gonna to have to control. So that's a good point. Yeah. So what type of trials have you done here before? So most of the work that's been done with this planting is to look at controlling uh, diseases and also uh, weeds. And so we've done several trials, actually quite a few trials on both. Um, to try to get these products registered um, for use in bananas. Um, and you'll ask me, have I been successful? <laughs> <coughs> um, somewhat. <laughs> somewhat, yes. It's a very slow process. Mm -hmm. um, from the time that we do a trial, it's usually three to five years before um, we would get use of the product. So it's, it's a long long term. Yeah, I mean, obviously they'll need to do tests to make sure that there's no toxins that are making it into the fruit. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. And so that's one part. Yeah. So they want to make sure the residues that it's, you know, below uh, detectable or below some limit. Mm -hmm. um, but the other thing is, is we can't just do one trial. Um, for these types of trials, we usually have to repeat the experiment two to three times. We try to do it all in one year. And how do I do that is that I have two more banana plantings that I use those. So I'll use three different varieties and try to do it all in one year rather than painfully do one trial each year. Oh, interesting. Yeah.